Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Sechere, UK registered nurse. And as you know, I do videos about anything you need to know whilst working in the UK. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the key dates that have been announced by the UK Parliament to implement the changes about the dependent visa and skilled worker visas in the UK. So if you like to know more about that, why not watch the video to the end? And if this is the first time you have come across my channel, please remember to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the main video. Welcome back to the main video. So as you may all be aware, in December 2023, the UK government actually set out a plan to reduce legal migration into the country. Uh, subsequently, on the 30th of January 2024, further details have been provided on the key dates um, on which these changes are going to be implemented. So the first change is happening on the 11th of March 2024. So from the 11th of March 2024, newly arriving care workers will be banned from bringing their immediate family to the UK. So immediate family means your wife or your children, which is quite sad. So you've got a job as a care worker coming to the UK. Unfortunately, you have to leave behind your wife and your children, which is a bit a difficult thing, I would say, especially for someone who has moved to the UK 20 years ago. I don't know what I would have done, leaving my daughter back home and coming on my own. Anyway, I hope these things are looked into in the future. The second point or the second change is that from the 4th of April 2024, the minimum salary requirement for skilled worker visa will be increasing from £26,200 to £38,700. That's quite high. However, just me, let me clarify, there is um, a caveat to that. It says that this does not affect health and care workers on a national pay scale, so i.e. nurses and the rest. So if you're a nurse, you would be on a national pay scale. So this increase in um, minimum salary requirement for skilled workers should not affect you if you're a nurse or health and care worker. Um, the next one is, so the third point or the third date, which has been confirmed is so from around the 4th of April 2024, the initial changes would be made actually to the shortage occupation list. Um, and the aim is also to reduce the jobs that are on the shortage occupation list. There are quite a lot of jobs on the UK shortage occupation list. And so what they're going to be doing around the 4th of April, they're going to be making some initial changes to the shortage occupation list. So if you're wanting to come to the UK and the job you're applying for is, the, is on the shortage occupation list, you should be working hard to find a job and move before because you never know that could be out of or could be off the shortage occupation list. Another one, so it says around the 11th of April 2024, the minimum income or salary requirement for to sponsor your spouse or partner um, would also be increasing. So spousal visa, partner visa um, requirement, minimum salary requirement is going to be increasing to about £29,000 per annum. And also ultimately the aim for the government is to increase it to about £38,000, in the end which is going to be very high so you must just if you have a partner out there or wife you want to bring them and you're on a skilled worker visa it's best to start working to bring them before the april time scale that they're going to be making the changes finally as you know the migration advisory committee as well did begin work on reviewing the graduate visa scheme so um, the aim is that they're going to be producing or publishing a report on the work being done on the graduate visa scheme, which means that, you know, most people post-graduation find a job and carry on working in the UK. It is likely, potentially in the future, that 
you know, type of visa may no longer be there. So if you want to look, relocate to the UK for work purposes or the purpose of joining your family, husband, wife or whatever, these are the key dates. So it's better you work quickly in order to avoid being affected by those dates. Once again, I only say UK is still good, but it is not as before. Uh, things have become very expensive and it is the same everywhere anyway. There are several other countries that are recruiting um, nurses, care workers or need other skilled workers. So you should be looking outside the box. Just that's what I'm saying. UK is not the only country you should be thinking of migrating to. Uh, there are so many other countries as well if you wish to move and work out of your country for the experience. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.